Let us see the accounting entries with respect to forfeiture of shares. Forfeiture of shares which were issued at par. The entry could be slightly different when we talk of forfeiture of the shares which were issued at par, forfeiture of shares which were issued at a premium and forfeiture of shares which were issued at a discount. So we'll discuss each of these separately. <clears throat> For feature, what is the entry for shares which are issued at par? Like we said, what is for feature? What happens as a result of for feature? The shares get cancelled. Therefore, share capital is wiped out, is cancelled. So, what is the entry? The entry is to debit share capital. Share capital and debit with the called up value into shares forfeited. Called up value into the number of shares forfeited. So, share capital account is debited. Two, shares forfeited. This is a new account which is created to shares forfeited with the amount which is received on the shares forfeited. With the amount which has been received. So, when a shareholder shares are forfeited, the amount, the amount which has been received from him is put into the shares forfeited account. This is like a profit. The share is cancelled, but this money is retained by the company. To calls in areas with the unpaid amount on the shares forfeited. Assuming that the amount unpaid on calls has been transferred to calls in areas. Like we discussed before, that when calls are in areas, the balance which is there, the debit balance in the call account may be transferred to the calls in areas account. May be transferred to the calls in areas. If it is not transferred to the calls in areas, it remains as a debit balance in the respective call account. Now to understand this entry, let us take a small example. Let us take a rupees 10 share, which is payable. As 3 on application, 3 on allotment and let us say 4 on first and final call. Let us say that a shareholder has not paid this final call money of rupees 4 but he has paid 3 and 3, 6. All the calls were made. It's a fully called up share where the person has paid 6 rupees and 4 rupees has not been paid. So what would be the accounting entry? Share capital, we are talking of only one share. Share capital account is debited with the called up value into the shares forfeited. So what is the called up value here? It is 10. Two shares forfeited account. With what? With the amount received. How much money did we receive? The company has received 6 rupees per share. To calls in areas, there is an area of 4 rupees. So, this would be the entry. A small variation. Suppose we take the same thing of rupees 10 per share, payable as 3 plus 3 plus 4. Let us say that in this instance, the final call has not been made. Not made. Final call not made. And the shareholder has paid the first installment of 3, has not paid the next installment of 3 rupees. What then would be the accounting entry? In that case, the entry would be share capital account debit with the called up value. What is the called up value? It is only 3 plus 3, 6. So share capital account would be debited with 6. To shares forfeited with the amount received. What is the amount received? 3. How much is the calls in areas? 3 is the calls in areas. So if it's a partly paid up share, we should be careful because share capital can be debited only with the called up value. So what is the entry for forfeiture of shares issued at par? Share capital account debit with the called up value. Two shares forfeited with the amount received. Two calls in areas with the amount not received. Very simple, easy to remember. Let's take.
take an example. XYZ Limited forfeited 1,000 shares of 10 each issued at par held by Madhu for non-payment of the final call of rupees 4. What does this mean? That means calls in areas. Areas is rupees 4. Paid up is rupees 6. Total called up is 10. So what is the entry? Forfeited how many shares? 1000 shares. So the entry would be share capital account debit 1000 shares into 10, 10,000. 2. Shares forfeited account with what? The amount received on the shares forfeited. Amount received must be 6 into 1000, 6000. 2. Calls in areas. To calls in areas, 4 per share is the is in areas so 4 into 1000 4000 this is our entry for for feature of the shares held by madhu with this the share capital stands are reduced there is a balance in the shares for feated account and the calls in area account is also closed the shares for feated account is added is added to share capital in the balance sheet Let us consider another example. X limited forfeited 1000 shares held by Madhu with a nominal value of rupees 10 each issued at par for non payment of the first call of rupees 2 per share. The application money and allotment money of 4 and 2 were paid by Madhu. Pass journal entries in the books of the company. So, in this case, the value of the share, the nominal value of the share is rupees 10. But what is called up value? Called up value is rupees 2 for the first call, application and allotment money of 4 and 2. So called up is 4 plus 2, that is application money 4, allotment money 2 and first call money 2 is equal to 8. So what will be our entry here? Share capital account debit. With what? Share capital account debit with the number of shares forfeited into the called up value which is 8. 2. Shares forfeited account. To shares forfeited account, number of shares is 1000 into. Shares forfeited account is to be credited with the amount received. What is the amount which has been received? The application money and allotment money of 4 and 2 has been received, 6,000. Why? Because the problem says that his shares are being forfeited only for the non-payment of the first call of rupees 2 per share. Therefore, what is in areas? 2 per share is in areas. That's 1,000 into 2, 2,000. This would be the accounting entry. <coughs>